Hello everybody and welcome back. So here's where we left off. We have our character that can walk around our scene. Uh, if we go into uh, sign area, we can create a little dialogue or we can close it. We can have a little sword animation that plays correctly based on the direction we're facing. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna add hitboxes to our sword animation so that we can interact with the world. So first thing I wanna do here is uh, choose my player and then bring my animation window down here so I can see it. And I'm gonna be looking at my uh, player itself while I'm doing all of this. So the main idea behind this is we're going to create um, a hitbox down, right, up, and left that roughly matches the animation of our um, sword strike. Now, I did a lot of research on this and this is the general consensus I read about the best way to do this. Uh, if I wanted to, I could make the sprite a separate object and then have that object have its own hitbox, but that doesn't necessarily seem any more efficient than creating these four separate boxes and then having them active as part of the animation. Um, I read a suggestion from somebody else who said to use a um, an arc, but that again doesn't seem like it's saving very much processing power. So um, what I'm going to do is the way that I think is easiest, which is to make these four separate objects to represent our hitboxes. So first things first, I'm going to highlight my player. Uh, disregard that question thing. I'll cover that soon. Uh, I'm going to highlight my player. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose create empty. And I'm going to rename this first one to uh, down hitbox. And on this down hitbox, I'm going to add a new component. And I'm going to add a polygon collider 2D. Now again, I did a little bit of research and everything I read couldn't tell me if it's more effective to use one polygon collider versus two box colliders that are used as a composite collider. Because I know you gain a little extra uh, overhead from using that composite collider. So I'm just going to use a polygon collider. Um, let me know in the comments if you know if that's better or not. Uh, so I'm going to edit my collider here. Polygon colliders by default, unless you have a shape, they start out as this uh, uh, pentagon. So I'm going to edit them to roughly approximate my character's sword strike. So I'm going to go to about where the sword would be, already here, and then there's kind of like that arc to it. So I'm going to go over there. Now if I have my attack down sprite up, if I hit play, you can see that I have it pretty much where it should be. So I'm going to call that my down hitbox. I'm going to make it a trigger, and by default, it's going to be inactive. Now, I'm going to duplicate this object. Oops. Duplicate it. What did I duplicate there if I didn't duplicate? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call this one right hit box. Um, okay, and I'm going to go to... Uh, oh, yeah, I need to make it active before I can edit the collider. So for my right attack, I think it makes kind of like It's not exactly what you think it should be based on the animation. So I'm gonna go let's say Like this maybe so let's go to our attack right animation Okay, so I'm good up there, but I need to go kind of kind of up more. So I'm going to bring this up, this over, and this in a little bit. And now I'm being a little not generous, so I'm going to bring this over. That's it's not too bad. I want to play with this just a little bit more here. Okay, that's better. I'm still missing some of it there, but that's that's all right. So I'm going to repeat this process with left and up. Uh, I'm going to fast forward while I do that. So inactive, duplicate, rename it, and yeah, I'll fast forward through this. Well, 
Okay, so now I've got my four hitboxes made and they're all inactive. Now, again, we could activate these in script, but honestly, we already have our animator doing stuff. I don't see why you can't just use the animator to do it. So uh, I'm gonna go to my attack down animation and I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the record position. At my very first frame, I'm gonna find my down hitbox and make it active. I'm gonna scrub through to the end of my animation and then I'll make my down hitbox inactive again. So there we go. I'm gonna repeat this for the other animations. So I'm gonna go attack left, uh, make sure I'm in record and I'll turn my uh, left hitbox active, scrub through to the end, inactive. Let's go attack right, record, active, scrub through to the end, inactive. Now, if, if anybody knows why I shouldn't do it like this, please let me know. Um, I just, I honestly couldn't think of a reason I, I couldn't, I shouldn't do it this way. So, um, so yeah, it's one more here, active, inactive. So, all right, so we got our attack up, attack right, okay, uh, attack left. Yeah, that's active, okay, cool. And attack down, and then that's active. All right, cool, so there we go. There's our hitboxes. Now we're gonna be using these to uh, do damage to enemies. So one thing you want to make sure that you do, and I don't think I talked about it, is make all of these colliders, you want to make sure you make all of these colliders triggers so that when they overlap with something that has a collider on it, you can give damage to it. Um, and you know, if it's enemies, you can also knock them away. If it's pots, you can make them break. So there we go. There's our hitboxes. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the uh, description down below. You can follow me on Twitter um, to find out when I post new videos. And otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day.